Okay, our final presentation in the series from um, our Japanese colleagues is by uh, Fukui-san, and um, he's going to be talking about case studies of the local stock assessment in the Northwest Pacific application of robust regression in estimating stock recruitment relationships. So, uh, hi, I'm Shien Fukui uh, from the, the uh, Japan Fishery Research and Education Agency. So, uh, uh, before the uh, talk, uh, Momoko-san and uh, uh, Hayashi-kun uh, tells that uh, we uh, develop uh, uh, our packages named uh, Phrasial. That so many of you uh, what crazy? No, 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 not crazy yet. That phrase is from this uh, the, uh, our agency. So. <laughs> well, I don't know what, what uh, where that J and J and E is removed. Um, so, because I'm just start uh, my uh, research uh, career uh, from this field, uh, fishery, from uh, this April. So, this is my first uh, research work of in this field. Uh, and but. Uh, uh, Almost this work is done well by the, my boss, uh, Okamura-san, and I do little about this. Anyway, uh, I talk about this. Uh, 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 this title. Okay, uh, uh, that time is uh, coming, so i uh, wrap up the, uh, my talk. Uh, he, uh, this is a pro uh, problem of the uh, unusual uh, recruitment, uh, of course. So it uh, makes problem to uh, estimating a parameter of uh, stock recruit recruitment uh, function. So how to uh, manage the, uh, that problem? So one uh, solution is uh, applying the robust estimation method. So, uh, 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 strong ear classes uh, occurs in uh, worldwide. So, uh, for example, uh, this is the example of the uh, okay, <laughs> uh, of uh, chopped mackerel in the Northwest Pacific stock. Uh, this is the time series and the, uh, the y-axis is the uh, recruitment per uh, SSB, uh, RPS, and you can see the uh, four uh, big uh, uh, strong U plus R. Uh, this, uh, as you can see, uh, 1992 and 1996, 2004, 2013. And other uh, example is that Bureau McLeod, uh, it's uh, for this uh, fish, uh, the uh, strong uh, year class car, uh, 1996 and 2004. Yeah. So uh, this is a problem to uh, estimate the uh, SL functions parameter. Uh, the problem is uh, bias. So if we have a larger recruitment value, so uh, the in, uh, growth rate sometimes bias so the larger side. So um, especially uh, for this case, uh, we estimate uh, the parameters by least mean square method. Uh, the uh, 1996 recruitment occurs uh, with the probability about the 0.00, I forgot, but uh, it's of course uh, theoretically uh, once per 300 years. And the uh, next one, 2004, of course, uh, uh, once per 50 years. But actually, the uh, term is only uh, 80 years. It's uh, 
not follow the uh, theoretical uh, distribution, error distribution. So, how to manage it? One uh, problem is use the uh, least mean square method. So, uh, this square method is usually uh, uh, used for the parameter estimation in a uh, uh, stock recruitment function. But uh, the least square method uh, usually assumes the normal distribution, which is not allow the uh, outlier values. And that uh, causes the biased uh, parameter estimations. So one uh, solution is uh, least absolute uh, deviation method and as a robust estimation. So th this method uh, assumes uh, the Laplace uh, distribution and uh, which center is uh, median. This method uh, avoid, uh, allows, uh, uh, tends to tolerate uh, outlier values. So uh, we check the usefulness of the uh, uh, LADs method. Here, after we call the estimation uh, method by uh, LAD is L1 and LMS is uh, called L2. And we, uh, to check the usefulness, uh, the LA, uh, L1 method, we generate uh, stock recruitment data by simulation. So uh, the <clears throat> oh, first of all, uh, we uh, often use the uh, hockey stick type uh, functional uh, SL function. So we assume the type and uh, the strong year, uh, year plus is of course at every about uh, 10 years because uh, uh, from the, the blue macro case that uh, in that case twice uh, strong year class occurred during uh, 80 years. For simplicity, uh, uh, strong year classes uh, in strong uh, year classes, the recruitment was recruitment was multiplied by ten. And also, uh, the strong class years occurs uh, is likely to occur the, uh, when the, the uh, SSB is small. So. To express that, uh, we said that this uh, uh, equation, the signal model curve, uh, which which is expressed as uh, an SSB is uh, larger than uh, get larger, the probability uh, get less. This is uh, 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 one trivial case. Uh, Right, and uh, this is a case of a uh, simulated uh, uh, SSB and recruitment uh, relationship, and the uh, simulation is based on the uh, growth rate is 1.5 and breakpoint is uh, 500. We want to estimate this value. This is the result, and uh, uh, left side box plot uh, means the uh, uh, growth rate A, and uh, right side is the breakpoint. So, uh, as you can see, the boss uh, method can estimate well, and but. Uh, if you check the bias of the estimated value, uh, the table uh, shows the biases, 
the L2 method is uh, less biased one. So L2 method is, uh, L2 method works well if there, there is no uh, strong year cost uh, occurs. Here is the case of the uh, uh, strong year class recruitment, of course. And you can see the three points and that strong uh, class year, uh, year classes. So this is a result. And as you can see, uh, the L1 method is uh, uh, well estimated uh, simulation based value and uh, both uh, in both cases, both uh, parameter and uh, in growth rate and the uh, yeah, breakpoints. And biases is less uh, in uh, if we use the L1 estimation. This is a, 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 a figure uh, used the uh, estimated value. Uh, blue line is uh, 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 results uh, of the L2 estimation, and one, red one is the uh, L1 estimation. So, so L1 estimation is less biased in growth rate and uh, a breakpoint. That is a, a hockey stick case. And uh, this is uh, uh, the case we assume the uh, SL function as a Ricca type. Uh, the result is same as the hockey stick type. Uh, L1 estimation is well estimated. And also this is a big button hold type. L1 is well estimated. And back to the uh, blue, uh, blue macro case. So uh, if we use the L1 estimation, <coughs> so uh, that uh, uh, stock recruitment function is less affected by the, the strong year class data. So, and, uh, the model uh, estimated by L1 is uh, greater, uh, well, uh, good value in the AIC. And what is good for the, uh, the management, stock management is here, the uh, growth rate and the break point affect the uh, uh, stock prediction in, uh, in future. Hence, uh, it changed the target of stock management. So, and in upcoming uh, harvest control rule in Japan, the target reference uh, point will be fixed for five years. Thus, uh, the robust estimation of SL relationship will be preferable. So, uh, incorporating a robust estimation would be a useful option in uh, estimating parameters of stock recruitment and relationship. That's all. Thank you. Okay, we have a couple of minutes for questions. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I was wondering if you're estimating the sort of standard stock recruit relationship. Um, what happens if you have a good recruitment? How does that feed into management? The problem with these methods is they sort of ignore the outliers, but the outliers can drive the population. Yeah, um, it's uh, uh, the future <laughs> work for me. So this is, uh, this is just only the uh, genuine uh, randomly the, uh, uh, stock recruitment data, but uh, actually we have to check the, the, with the population dynamics included the, the simulation. So I don't know how to do that uh, results. So the next uh, work. 
Any other questions? Okay, uh, thanks a lot.